Five life hacks, part two. Alright, so for this life hack, whenever you write something on a notebook and you want nobody to read it, uh, instead of like crossing it with lines, write something over it. Because if you write something over it, well, it will make it completely unreadable. If you just put lines on it, I can still read that. But yeah, let's try writing something over it. Nobody can read that. Alright guys, so for this life hack I have something pretty cool for you. I'm going to show you how to turn your computer into a karaoke machine for the parties. Alright, so we're at the computer and um, this works on Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP. It works on all of them. I think so. And all you need is a microphone and speakers. Any microphone will do. I have a desk microphone which works really great. So yeah, first of all what you want to do is right click on this uh, speaker thing right here, you know the one, and click on recording devices. And this tab will open, it's a small window, and here on recording you'll see all your microphones. I have two, I have the one on my uh, webcam, I also have this, which is the desk uh, microphone I was talking about. And you're going to click on it and go to properties, or just right click on properties, works both ways. And another uh, tab will open, and here you have all these categories, and you want to go to listen. Here at listen you want to check this box which says listen to this device and play back through this device you want to choose your speakers you might have like two speakers I only have one so it doesn't really matter just default playback device will do and the moment you click apply um, if you talk basically it's gonna come out of your speakers so here at levels I suggest tweaking it basically this works for me microphone uh, boost is 10 for me and 68 just this is perfect so the moment I click apply you're gonna hear my voice twice because my uh, uh, recording software the settings I use are that um, it records uh, the sound from my speakers and my microphone so if my voice coming out of my speakers too you're gonna hear it as well so apply and, and now you, you can, can hear me twice, twice. and, and uh, um, you're, you're gonna hear yourself when you do this and, and you can just go, go right here and change the level so you can like tune it down or a lot I can do it at 60 around there and it's just perfect then click OK OK and when you want to turn it off just go to properties Recording, recording devices, device, sorry, properties, properties on your microphone, microphone and, and then listen, listen uncheck this, this, click apply, and that's it. So yeah, this was really quick, that's how you turn your computer into a quick, small, good karaoke machine. You can just open some YouTube songs, uh, just instrumental basically, without the voice, and you've got a karaoke machine. Alright, so we've got here a plastic container where we're going to put the sponge in. I'm going to throw in one cup of water. That's one cup right there, and then half a cup of uh, vinegar. You can use the same cup, of course. Half a cup of vinegar. Alright, so there it goes. And then we're going to throw it in as well. And then you're going to take two tablespoons or three tablespoons of salt and just throw it in there and just mix it up real quick using the sponge or your finger whatever and then just let the sponge in there overnight and after that it will be, it will be clean Alright guys, so it's been 24, uh, 24 hours since I put this in. Uh, you actually only need to leave it in about 12 hours. But I left it there for uh, better results. So, um, I'm going to take it out right now. Alright, so this uh, sponge is clear of all bacteria. Alright guys, uh, alright, so for this one I'm going to show you how to get out permanent marker with toothpaste. So we're going to put some toothpaste in there. This is permanent marker. I, uh, I uh, drew it on yesterday. So we're going to put some toothpaste in there. That's about enough, I guess. 
and we're going to take a sponge and let's see if it will get off. Alright, so you can see it's whitened out. This is actually like really awesome results. I didn't expect it to go away so quickly. Alright, so I'm going to give you a closer look, it's gone. Alright, so this is the results cleaned with water after uh, the toothpaste. And it's just clean. It's gone. I can't see any marks or anything. Thumbs up. Whenever you use one of these glasses wipe cleaners, don't just throw it away after you clean your glasses. Use this on your phone, your tablet, and maybe even your computer screen. This way these things will be worth their money.